financial report after the financial report talk about how much of the monies that came in from the our grant to uh, pay to uh, Jackson County Bank Any other changes on the agenda? I accept the motion to approve. I'll, I'll move we approve the agenda as amended. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Approval of the minutes from October 24th meeting. Would you like to please? Yeah. City Greensburg Board of Aviation Commissioners, October 24, 2011, time 7 p.m. Roll call President John Dooley, Bill Ernstis. Jim Pruitt and Don Whipple, absent Ed Weiner. Motion made by John Dooley and seconded by Don Whipple to approve the agenda as amended. Motion carried. The minutes from October's meeting. I should be September, should I? It should be September. From September's meeting were presented for approval. Motion by John Dooley and seconded by Jim Pruitt to approve as amended. Motion carried. <coughs> Old business. John Dooley gave the financial report on the airport balances. Don Whipple reported on the status of the SRE building. He has visited Miller's and measured the equipment. He estimated that a coal style barn would cost between $15,000 and $25,000. A steel building would cost around $45,000 to $50,000. Don Manley stated that an environmental assessment and airspace study could take up to 90 days to complete depending upon ground conditions. Motion by Jim Pruitt and seconded by Don Whipple to allow BFNS under a general service contract to be authorized to begin an archaeological and airspace study hourly not to exceed four thousand dollars without further approval from the act. Motion carried. New business. Each board member received a copy of the airport rules to review. The board discussed commercial leases versus personal leases. <coughs> Motion by John Dooley and seconded by Jim Pruitt to table discussion of the airport leases rules and leases until receiving Don Trivet's recommendation. Motion carried. The bill packet was presented for approval. The best way bill was removed. Motion to approve remaining bills was presented by John Dooley and seconded by Jim Pruitt. Motion carried. Dennis Dickman came forward from the audience with an issue of skydive Greensburg going onto his fields without permission. John Dooley reported that while the GOAC understands his frustrations, the FAA has informed them, informed them that they cannot come between the property owner and skydive. Don Whipple reinforced that they cannot enforce rules on other people's property, and the BOAC has been informed that they are not to mediate by the mayor and the BOAC attorney. Don mainly discussed the CIP. He would like for the BOAC to have discussion in November and then motion to be made in December. Motion to adjourn by Jim Pruitt and seconded by Don Whipple. Motion carried. Meeting was dismissed at 8 o'clock p.m. Good morning. Correction or clarification, I think you've got here. John, you reported while the BOAC understands frustration that FAA is informed, and the FAA did, did not make that. That was more from uh, our board attorney, city attorney, and the mayor before they cannot come between the property and the side of it. Okay. <coughs> so, not the FAA. <coughs> 
So what do you want to do? Have that read um, um, the legal counsel is informed? Yeah, that would be the way to form the legal counsel. Report for the Greensburg Municipal Airport. Again, we have three the funds broken up into three individual funds. Uh, in the Airport Improvement Fund, our current balance stands at $506,332.65. You'll notice in the revenue side in October, we have uh, over $343,000 added there. That's FAA grant money that has come through. And that's why that figure is larger than it was last month. Uh, we'll be talking about what to do with that. Finished here. In the aviation road refuel, the current balance stands at $96,375.31. In the airport operations fund, $171,261.48. The total of all three accounts, $773,969.44. Jackson County Bank to bring our present loan down. I don't have the exact figure of how much it is right now. It's what, $908,000? Uh, I would like to see us bring it down to just a little bit below $500,000. Is, is that entire three forty three? is that for the uh, purchase of the airport from 2007? Correct. Right. Okay. Is, is there any reason why we should use all that? Well, that we plus, see the, I was going to say that amount, plus some plus. more out of the funds so we bring, that we'll bring okay. our interest rate uh, down a considerable amount. Our interest rate plus another rate. Would that be, or, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, right. Sure. Okay. We don't know how much more? I think it's 900, you remember exactly, Devin? I think it's 908,000. 908. Right. Um, do we have any um, regulations, stipulations, or anything as far as spending this money right now? All, all I, well, anything in the uh, airport improvement fund has to be, needs to be spent either for other airport improvements or for paying down the loan at Jackson County Bank. Well, you're right, I understand. I mean, that's, yeah, I mean, there's no, no other... No, the next one that will be a grant that will come in will be for the snow equipment. It is not it is not listed in this. So we're at 908, roughly 908, that be 404,000, so it's 408,000. So yeah. we're looking, that's going to eat a big chunk of this. Uh, yeah. That leaves it leaving us with just less than 100,000, about 98,000. Um, the only question I've got is, is what else can we look at? Magic mirror and see what else we may have coming down the pipe to have to. That's true. Pay. Yeah, that's why I wanted to see what you felt about it. Uh, it will bring the interest rate, uh, the interest amount down considerably. Uh, and you find the main thing is going to do, do say, 350000 Well, sure. I mean, I, I agree. The more we can pay, the better. Yeah. Less interest money than the law firm. So, but I, I just I'm a little concerned about trying to get the flat. We don't want to get it down too low. This was one of the reasons we, the way we built this up when when we bought the airport. I don't know if you remember uh, John Julian and uh, the other They recommended that we not pay whenever we got a, a grant back, not to pay it completely until we got built up in both that account. Plus, allowing the airport operation funds to get built up. And in the next year or so, we're going to need to put into the budget 
where we take money that's from the airport operation fund to pay for our portion back into the airport improvement fund plus the interest back into the airport uh, improvement fund. So we're, we're finally getting things to build up and we'll probably take uh, a little bit of money out of the uh, next year or so out of the airport for refuel fund also. But uh, it, if, if you want to spend three or whatever you'd like, I, I'd like for, we need to send some of it to Jackson County Bank if you want to send it all or just part of it or how you want to do that. Is this 343 the last big draw they're going to No. I mean, I'm told. There's another, Don, when's the next payment comes toward the airport? Oh, the next rent you're going to receive? Probably in July. Uh, are we, uh, do we have any runway maintenance issues that would possibly need this money for right now? Really not at present, but uh, I am going to get a price and we're going to try to include it into the CIP uh, for overlay on the present runway. Uh, it seems how we're in the process of getting towards the new runway that the FAA will pay for the overlay while we're in the waiting process. If we weren't going to do the new runway, then the FAA would not, we would have to come up with monies ourselves, would we not, for the overlay? Um, there's some technical things I have to get through with that. Mm -hmm. As it's set up right now, I mean, we wouldn't be able to. So that's what we're going to push to us in my mind. I mean, when, when are we looking at that overlay? Or is that going to be something in the immediate future? I don't know. I, without having someone come down and one in there really look at the runway and tell me exactly how long it's going to take before we need it. Uh, I would say before, definitely before the new runway goes in, we're going to need something to hold it for a period of time. Well, that's probably that, next year. That's also going to. That's also going right. to. The current runway is going to become part of the taxi. A portion of it, yes. So I guess that doesn't. Well, if we were bringing this down, let's see. You said. Roughly, we owe nine hundred and eight. We're bringing it down to six hundred thousand. Three hundred, you know, three hundred eight thousand, or whatever amount it takes to, to bring the loan down to six hundred thousand. Would be okay with me? I think. I'd like. I'd like to spend. I'd like to spend at least three forty six. Because uh, otherwise, we're going to come up with a later on this. I'd like to spend three forty six or a little bit more toward the loan. So, you're right, we can understand that, but then we, that, that one's going to be paid by somebody. So, well, the only question I've got is, is is there something that could happen that we would need this money in the near future? I mean, I don't want to go too low. I don't want to drop the fund down too low if there's something that, uh, that we may have to pay on sometime in the near future. I, I don't, I personally can't think of anything. Being in being airport improvement, it had to be something of a capital nature. Right. I mean, if it's a repair that we need all of a sudden, it has to come out of the airport improvement. Or let, the let, let me ask this question. Um, and I, I may have already, you, somebody may have already given the answer to this, but considering that we're going to have to look at doing something to house the snow removal equipment can't you know can we use this money to put up a building for that for that, for that, for that purpose that, that is the fund that come out of so it would have to come out airport because it would yeah. be, be improved it have to come out of that fund so I've got that in the back of my mind well, you're going to keep out so now there's 506,000 plus if we let's, let's take for example throw out the figure we spent three sixty toward the loan. We still have one hundred forty six thousand dollars left with the money's coming in, in July. So I don't, I don't. What else would have foreseeable except for you know protecting the safety of the equipment? And uh, I'm not making a motion. I'm kind of banning around what for you. How do you guys feel about three sixty? That that would bring it down to three or to five fifty. Yeah. Bring the loan down to five fifty. Then that we have transferred.
against her, or do we pay three hundred sixty thousand dollars to Jackson County Bank against the uh, against the uh, principal or loan? Some sort. I just want to be sure that well, we, we do that. Go ahead. Do we even want a business? Well, we may not. I just want to be sure that we don't someplace down the line uh, under a. Right now, if we had lots of buildings out there, yeah, it'd be a different ballgame. But basically, all we've got is hangers. True. Right. You can well, still get for right now, now as time goes on, yeah. but you know that can always be remedied later too. Yeah. But uh, I mean, I agree. I, you know, I mean, I would think that if there is some kind of a business operation that we're going to lease to, that that would be certainly yeah, this, because we're commercial running their business out of the airport. Not, not, for example, not over their business in the red hangar. They're not. Well, right. They're, they're not operating. Yeah, you could have an over. aircraft mechanic or a, or a flight instructor or someone or someone that has facilities and actually running a business at the airport. And that would like be able to. But on the other hand, doesn't our present hangar lease say the only thing that's allowed in there is airplanes? I don't know if it says it's the only thing that's allowed. Airplane store lots of it. So it's prior. It says it's for air. You need to have an airplane in there. Yeah, you need to have an airplane in there. Yeah. I would think that what we would need to do is if someone does approach us wanting that, you know, let's say a, a mechanic wants to open up or something. That's something we would need to deal with at that time, and certainly we would want to consider a commercial lease. I don't know if we need to have anything drafted at this point. No, I just want to be just sure that down the road we don't someplace mm -hmm. along the line get somebody. There's always here. a possibility that something like that could come about. I mean, certainly. In fact, there's a probability actually we're running over time. But to have it we don't impose certain you know, restrictions and rules on that type of operation. I think maybe we could, you know, just no motion or anything, just kind of agree that, you know, if that comes up, we need to discuss what we want. Sounds good to me. I still have a bad taste in my mouth from the last one. I understand. Just a question. Any other minutes of understanding if that's all right without a motion of any sort? Yeah, if you would. You see me discuss business. So I think we want to have a discussion as to what business do we allow out there That's first of all, and then at least right, you know, after that. So. Okay, approval of bills. Did we decide whether we had that $22,000 worth of fuel in there last month? my mind that we did. Hold on a minute. Oh, we did. We still want to do it twice. Well, I have a feeling. I realize that I won't pay it twice, but it may have got carried over that same, that same amount. It's the exact same amount. That I, I don't know if we had it on that and didn't get the bill signed. You have to go here. Yeah. It was fine. If so, we approved it last month and just didn't sign the bill. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm 
starting to think maybe I just threw it back into the second time or didn't take it out. I don't know but I don't see it here. Since we don't have it, should we just scratch that yeah. 22,000 plus a year out there? That's nice. Okay. I probably would be good to clean it off when I move forward. Didn't we pay something last month? Yeah, yeah. You know, I think we did. That's oh, what we're talking yeah. about. It, it shows it on the. It shows the exact same amount last month, so I'm guessing I just failed to uh, clear it off on the spreadsheet. Well, either they brought in a load of the exact same amount. Uh, I doubt that. Okay. <coughs> Jim, Jim Shepner, what was he? It was $140 plus. Oh, it's a bad list. It's a bad list. It's a bad list. It's a bad I, yeah, Bill, I still need, I, I got to ask this again. Doesn't REMC and Frontier send us a bill every month? <laughs> uh, <Evan? laughs> yes, they would send one every month. But we don't get one every month. So I can't, I, I, it's hard. I know good old REMC sends me a bill every month. Yeah, you know, you know, I think we need to look into these things because I don't like, I don't want the airport or the city of Greensburg for that matter to get the reputation of paying our bills late. Well, I, I agree with you. The RFC, we had one time over eight months and they, because they didn't send us a bill and they probably there didn't was say a, There was a meter that wasn't. Um, yeah, we changed out the meters right. and they didn't update their records. Uh, okay. But well, I, that's their fault. Yeah. But I do know that if June sees um, any type of utility bill, she goes ahead and pays. She stuff. can go ahead and pay the utility bills, and then they're placed on. Um, it must be placed on the. Uh, okay. Yeah, because it's The spreadsheet the following right? month. I think it has to do with when the bill comes due and when your meeting yeah. is. But she will go ahead and pay those well, that's good. in advance. Yeah, that's good. And she can pay those in advance. Is there electric to energy yet, by the way, or is it still about, just still on your way? Okay. 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 I'll beat that one up. Okay. Okay. Do I have a move to pay? Move me? I move we pay the bills as amended without the $22,000. Is the second for bond? What's the bill for bond? Don, Don Trill. Uh, that's the work that he did with uh, the environmental studies, getting uh, everything with the landowners. Whatever you can review it over here, it's it's here in full. Well, I mean, I just, I and some cheap, of it, so I if I call and ask a question, he he doesn't pass up putting down. Oh, well, I know he doesn't. Well, I wouldn't <coughs> either if I was. Yeah, we did get a free one the other day. He called for wanted some information on his behalf. He said he was free. Can we sent him a bill. <laughs> sure. So we've got a motion and a second. Yeah, we've got a motion but no second. I don't know what you said. Well, you made the motion also. Okay, roll call. John? Yes. Bill? Yes. Jim? Yes. Don. Yes. And Debbie, with this particular one, we need to send this to Butter Sherman Cypher to take care of anything that's reimbursable. That's the one for Don. Yeah. Trivet? Don Trivet. But anything he works on that's associated with getting the new portion of the airport is reimbursable. No. Okay. We have the comments from the board or the public? I, I, I go ahead. Yeah. one to go with here. Because we have the, we, we asked the DFNS to uh, do an archaeological air base, airspace study for the potential building that building. And is that, we went up to that on ice for the time being, or I don't know where we're at on that. You haven't done that yet. The airspace study for a possible new building? I 
No, as a matter of fact, I'm going to ask you now. I need a drawing of exactly where it's located. Well, right now we're looking at a possibility of a, a change in hangar G, a modification in it to possibly uh, put the uh, snow blower and equipment in it. And if that was the case, we would not need any, we would not pull well, in the airspace. I won't do so so this whole on to it for the time being until we determine we, exactly how. We haven't got a price back from Ron Obama yet, so we don't know. So we'll get that before we discuss what we want to do. Yeah. yeah. Is that all right, Don? What? We get a price from Ron Obama and we look at it and study it again? Yeah. 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 Have we ever figured out what exactly we're going to do with this equipment when it does come in? Uh, thinking that's going to be done by the time it comes I'm through. hoping it'll be done before that time. If, it, if it's a modification of energy, that it'll be done probably before it comes in. If it's a uh, build a new building, we have to figure out something else. So well, I mean, I know it's fun. Let's see if we start tomorrow, like the building up before you get that anchor replaced. Yeah, well, you can't start tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you. <laughs> well, I mean, the uh, run bomb that we're paying, that's all, that's all the tornado. Yeah, that's yeah. funny. This will yeah. be separate from. So, we're, in other words, we're going to pay for them to modify. We would. Did, did you understand, Bill, that Tim from the run of bombs said there, there would have to be engineered? Yes. I did hear that. Four or five grand to do that. I thought he said $500. Uh, that was for a preliminary estimate, for a preliminary engineer. I hadn't heard before five thousand. I wonder. Okay. If they had, no, I had not. Um, are there any airspace issues with, with that? No. Changes in that? Either. All the changes are on these side of the building, so we shouldn't throw on that. But we still need to do that environmental study anyway, don't we? The existing building, no. Oh, we discussed this last month and said that. Or any future, if, if we were to build a new pole building over there towards the fuel system, then we have to. But also for any, any future, we were going to do the whole. Airport. Oh, I see what you're any, saying. Any work that requires outside an existing structure would require environmental. Yes. I understand that. But you're modifying energy, no. I think. I think what he's saying is. Should we go ahead and do a complete airspace study? No, no, the, Bill. I'm talking about environmental, environmental, environmental. environmental. Oh, the environment. I, I wouldn't. And the reason why I say that, maybe the, we're going to cover the, uh, what you need for the new runway, the archaeological part of it. Um, and that's under the current environmental contract. Any new environmental is only good for three years maximum. So. It's not worth okay. the money to spend to do it unless you know exactly where you're located. Okay. Right. Okay. Yes. yes. Uh, this is just informational for myself. On your the loan that uh, with Jackson County, was that set up as a straight loan or as a revolving line of credit? It's uh, it's a loan. Okay. My point was that if you paid that back and needed that money, if it was revolving, you could no, borrow it back out of it again. Okay. Anything else? Mr. Manley? I, I just have one thing on the agenda. I handed out to all the board members the uh, update on the CIP. And I'm going to, we have until February 1st, so I'm going to extend the time for the board to consider any modifications to it for final approval in the January meeting. Any questions on where, what it looks like now? Um, when does it have to be? <coughs> it due February the 1st. As a matter of fact, your letter just went out from the state. You should have received a, a notice. If you didn't, I'll let them know they, they missed Unless an address. It, it could be out the airport. I just have to okay. All right. So basically, we're looking at next month, really. Yes. Having to vote on it. Yeah, and next, next month, we'll review the final draft, and in January, we will have approval for signing and then submitting. And it'll probably, because I'm waiting for the last. So we want to go that late? I mean, uh, 
is our January meeting organization. So if it has to be I think to, I think it'd be just fine that we do wait. Okay. I have a question. So you have not done anything on environmental study or flight clearance? I know we haven't done anything on the airspace. I'm not sure I'll have to check on the uh, environmental where we are on that because I did issue, after the last meeting, I did give them a notice to proceed. And uh, at this point, I have not seen anything across my desk, so I'm saying that they have not. But I can't tell that until I get back to the office to find out. I'll inform Bill where we are. My only comment, Mr. President, is that we've lost another month if we decide to build a building. And I'm not saying that's what we should do. I'm just saying if we decide to go that way, we've lost another month. Decides that we're definitely going to raise that roof on that hangar and go that direction, well, let's forget it. But every month goes by, the equipment gets closer to getting there, and it's going to be sitting out in the snow. That disturbs me big time. So, what are we we're waiting on? What other bids for G? Is that right? Is that what we're waiting Well, we're waiting on. Need to be done, but for a second bid, for a actually first bid for the modification of the Toronto model, what it would cost to do it. Well, do we have to jump through all the hoops that we had to jump through on the tornado damage with the bids and all of that? Or uh, in talking with Charlie Pride, if it's less than one hundred fifty thousand dollars, we need to get three bids. Uh, if it's less than fifty thousand, the way I understood it from me, preferred. They don't have to. If they're less than 150,000, for, for them to be in writing, but if they're less than 50,000, they can be verbal writing, yeah. and you can also have guest care. Uh, there is another. Yeah, that's a. It's a surprise. The administrator misunderstood it. Uh, the legislator, last legislative branch last year, come up with a new law is to increase to $250,000 for next year after January 1. What they failed to do is put anything in the language for this year. It was 150000 So now anything that you do, you need the three bids. Well, uh, can I add something to that? Is that you January. did receive... Yeah. After January 1st, you want to worry about oh, all this other... There's another statute that your attorney needs to investigate. You already have bids. You awarded a contract. And if there is an unforeseen then you can extend that by change order. If it's a foreseen, the maximum amount of change order allowed in a project to go up above the, uh, the original contract amount is 20%. So if you're within the 20%, the state statute allows to continue on without advertising. But uh, I'm not an attorney. I need to and get your city attorney to confirm what I am saying. I was also told you can claim ignorance and maybe get away with it because of what the legislature but uh, I use this, the change order item with federal grant projects all the time. Where it's a 20%. If it's a foreseen, and this is a foreseen, and you're making a modification, and it's in reference to the current project, has to be in reference to the current project, then you're allowed to go 20% over the original contract amount. The change is called a change order. Well, which contract? The overall contract? Yes, the overall contract amount. Uh, 300 and some thousand, whatever it was. 200. That would be, be $60,000. That would be $60,000. Yes. That's what you're allowed to do. So I believe the other thing you mentioned, change order, is going to cost a premium. Yeah. Of course, since our last, since this was all done, and, and even since our last meeting, this building has become available to us. It wasn't General, I have a question. You did have airplanes on the waiting list to anchor here in Greensburg, correct? <coughs> and you recently had, what, one or two more planes come to Greensburg? So you still have waiting list for more planes. Mm -hmm. 
you know, I encourage you, this is at an airport, forget about revamping the one building. That's an anchor for additional airport airplanes if you get them to move to Greensburg. Build a new building. No, this, this portion cannot be used as a hangar. The south portion of Hangar G. It can be reconfigured now. Jerry told me it could be reconfigured. Not to put another years. aircraft in it. Yeah. Well, I'll make it. Did you say what are, you talk, are you talking about where the office area right. is? Right, where the office area is at. So you're talking about tearing that all the way out? No, 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 it's raising the roof up and put two doors on the east side and taking the equipment into the east. Why couldn't that be reconfigured for a hangar? It's not wide enough. It's so only two thirds the width of an aircraft. It's 29 feet. Well, it's a, it's a I can add a laser on that too. It to be stored. I can add a little bit of that too. The normal T hanger construction. The end portions of the T hanger row. Is normally used for storage because you cannot use it for a build for an aircraft. What I'm saying is you have the T section, and on the box section on each side of the T, one side you've got a uh, wing overlap. On the other side, at the very end, you have no overlap. That is usually used as storage or office space. And it's probably the same consideration if you got here, is that there is a issue where you could not fit another aircraft in the row of T's because there's not enough unless you extended that portion out further, which is even more expensive than it is to just raise the row. So that helps you understand that a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's not 29 feet. The box end is not 29 feet. Yeah. The office end of Is there enough room there to do the storage? That's what I'm wondering. So it seems to be Mayor was talking about putting other aircraft in there. The, the current building will house five, five aircraft. Mm -hmm. You do the north side. You're saying you don't think they'll be configured anymore on the south side for more. Mm -hmm. I don't think you get six. Now, are we going to have to change? Are we going to have to add walls in that anchor G to put the be dividing walls in between the T's? Yeah, right. That would be part of this exactly. Uh, I don't know exactly, but that's part of the re reconfiguration of the of the hangar to make it hang. <coughs> you know, if you've been out there the last few days, they've got the new sliding doors out there on the energy. There's still a lot more to be done. There's holes punched in everywhere. Don't even go there. Well, at any rate, what we need to do from here is find out this potential modification of what it would cost to kind of double confirm we could put your aircraft in there since that's what I'd say is an anchor. There never there never were there never were airplanes on the south end of that building. What would they have in there? Well it was it was built. It's it, that's always been all the space on the south end for an issue all on the space. We've got showers and toilets and meeting rooms and that kind of stuff to be up in there. Yeah, there's 29 feet, I believe it's 29 feet, 29 or 30 feet of solid wall on the east side at the south end of that building. And it's 34 or 35 foot wide. So you're going to have about 28 or 29 by 35. We need to we need to have some figure we can work with until we have a figure. Yeah, we we have yeah. yeah, that's true. So we need to back here right we know what what cost you just like you laid out for that building we need to see those pieces we fit in there or not. That fit would make sense to yeah. My guess is we don't want to guess it, so well I am like Don. I I just I'm concerned I'm not gonna get this done. And Tom, you know, this equipment comes in. We're going to have well, maybe it'd be safe to assume that we won't get done in time and we'll make those arrangements, perhaps with the airport you pay. Well, I don't know. Was anybody looking at that? No. I think it's better to be looking at it now as opposed to.
ten or twenty. I'm going to assume there's room in there for that. Because, I mean, they pack those buildings full of shit. Yeah. Well, when when will we have some figure that we're going to work with? Hopefully, I thought we were going to have one by night, but we didn't get it. So we got another month. Well, okay. If, if we get, if we got to figure the next week or two, if you really want to go and be called special kid. Yeah. Well, I think we need to do something because, like Don said, we're running out of time. Yeah. Getting this chance to get in that here wasn't. I know that's frustrating because you're running out of time, but it didn't even exist last month. So I, I would like to say this, not to discourage anybody about the equipment being inside of the library. I don't think you see many farm dealerships where they have all their equipment inside, even if it's brand new. Uh, most equipment is made to work outside in bad weather, but it, it would be great if we had this inside. Uh, we'll understand that, you know, we're talking about there's a lot of potential vandalism. Oh, yeah. Potential, you know, uh, I, I think. You, you stored that. I understand. Your snow removal equipment yeah. is going to be in the weather, I and mean, that's not the you know, I'm not really getting to that. It's I'm just concerned about vandalism. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, one other, one other thing to discuss real yeah. quick. <coughs> uh, what do you want? Hold on. The, uh, we received a check from the insurance company on a separate windstorm damage. Uh, and we've gotten one bid so far on it, and you've got it there. Uh, Elder was one of them to, to fix it back the way it was, it was six, 6780 and then to put in a new one at $14,417. We don't have anything for Ronald Bomb, but we do have a check that they have paid already of $4,085. Uh, what we really will need to do is decide if we want to go with the new door, which I think is a thing to do. Uh, when we get the bid from the runner bottom, then Elder said that it's possible to negotiate with him for a lower price. But that's where we need to have three bids. Uh, one of them, the way I understand now, Gary, from what Charlie told me, he says you can't get one over the phone uh, just so you make note of it, the date and the time and everything. For the third for our third bid. Um, I, might, yes. I looked in my notes, it was hangar D6. D6? Uh, D6 in the storm was September 26th. Okay. That was the only unit that had damage in that storm, is that right? Um, there was a little bit of additional damage to um, one of the doors, but it was one of the storm door from the previous storm anyway. So I have to okay. separate those out. Is that a bifold door? Uh, it's an old crank up presently, but we would replace it with a bifold. You have the fourteen thousand dollar figure to get bifold, right? That's the way. So we'd have we'd have roughly ten thousand dollars out of pocket, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And I I put in that packet to the um, letter that I put the email. I got from the adjuster. Um, we had a thousand dollar deductible on the door, and they held back twenty five percent of that sixty seven eighty. So there's nothing to vote on tonight. Is that right? Until no. we get another bid. No, we, 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 we need to. We call a special meeting. Does this count as two bids, or is that There's two different bids. One that counts as two bids. One that put in brand new. Okay. This would basically be putting in a new one in. Right. And it would be a dimension of that. Well, as I understand it, there are two separate bids, and it's just two separate ways of doing it. We need to pick which way we want to go. And our, I think our goal is to replace all doors eventually with, with solid by four. Well, I agree. We're starting to spend a lot of money. Yeah, we got to, that's what we have to watch. Yeah, we spend a lot more if you put the ones of yours up there. We've seen a lot of damage up Yes, we have. We've done some failures of doors. Okay, is there anything else anybody needs to bring up? I 
entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting adjourned.